Hello guys, it's Alex from Invest here. Welcome to a 33rd Basic Python tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about how to create modules and basically how to write your own import them as well as, uh, well, that's all we're going to cover in this video right here. And we learned about modules before. It's using the import statement, which is I am a P O R T and it's in color because that's a reserved word in Python. But modules are very useful. Um, it allows you to reuse code and saves you a lot of time and effort. And I I want to do an example of this on um, you know when you would actually do a certain type of module. So let's uh, I'm gonna open a new window right here. And I'm just going to create a module right here. I'm going to call this class player object. And what this player is going to be a player for a game. That's the doc string, the constructor for it. I'm going to write self name and get a score in there as well. So two attribute self name dot name is equal to name and self dot score is equal to score okay and once you have that I'm gonna create the two string put self in there and basically all it's gonna do is give you the name of it then a tab plus the basically a string version of the score and then we're gonna return that now another function that we want to create and actually we're gonna go back to this line right here ask yes or no and we, we we've done this before uh, basically ask a yes or no question then the response uh, and make sure you close the three quotation marks set that equal to none while response not in y or n we're going to set response equal and let the user basically keep on importing something. Uh, we're going to have question dot lower because this you want lowercase if they put uppercase, turn that into lowercase. And then return the response. Okay, now we're going to ask a number. That's going to be another function that we have here low high and let's say ask for a number within a certain range then again for response equal to none while response not in range and put low to high we're gonna let them keep on guessing so int because it is a number raw input question and we're gonna return the response just like the other one okay then we're gonna have a name thing right here set that equal to main and I'll talk about that in a second print you ran this module directly and did not import it and raw import press the enter key to exit okay that's it and basically what this thing right here if this is true it basically is saying if uh, it is true if the program is to run directly, however, if it was imported, then it will turn the condition into false. So, uh, if we ran directly and saved this as a, uh, let's say, games.py file, 
let, let, let's just save it. So I'm going to save this right here as, let's say, games.py on my Python 2.7 folder and run this. It says you ran this module directly and did not import it. But however, if I let's let's do an import now, uh, demonstrating how import works. So I'm gonna open a new window here, and again using import is import games because that's what we called this games, and we saved it. We're gonna save this on the same file, which is for me it's Python 2.7. And I want to also import random, which is something that's already given when you download Python. And uh, that's basically it. If you do import that, and then let's say you run it. So uh, let's do game uh, import.py. It really can be anything that you want it to be. Nothing's going to happen because you ran this module and not directly so you did import it and that's what's basically what's gonna happen and that's basically how you import modules and write your own modules if you have any questions please leave that in the comment section if you still haven't subscribed please do so and I'll see you guys later